All right, welcome back. It's Tragic Life here with Pokemon Yellow. We just fought all of the trainers, all the Pokemon people in here. We got one more major fight, and I saved that for last. Um, and it'll be the last time we're on the ship. I will say this, I forgot to hit the stop button, so my last video I'm going to edit a lot because it was like 34 minutes long, and it ended up being 51 because I forgot to hit stop. Anyway, um, if you... Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think about this game or money or whatever is going on in the world. Just let's have a conversation. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and move forward. Bonjour, Ash. Imagine seeing you here. Ash, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught it 40 times, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. I mean, I got a lot too. I don't know how many. Um, probably not 40. Now, Steve wants to fight. Of course he does. So, based on the version of this game. So, red and blue, there's three separate types of fight. If you pick uh, a Bulbasaur in the start of the game, you'll get Pidgeotto, Raticate, Kadabra, Char 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 Charmeleon. I don't know why I can't speak. If you pick Charmander, you'll get Pidgeotto, Raticate, Kadabra, and Wartotal. If you choose Squirtle, you get Pidgeotto, Raticate, Kadabra, Ivysaur. Since we are Pokemon Yellow, we get a completely different round of things. So let's see how this goes. It shouldn't be too difficult. He hasn't really done much to build his characters. I don't think there's anything here we haven't seen. Okay, that hurt. Thank you. About to use a ratata. ratata. Um, I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to switch to Oddish because... Um, our buddy here is a little peckished. Literally. Alright. Tail Whip. I don't know if this is going to do much. It, it did decent damage. So far, so good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the way things are. Okay, so this one might be the hard one because this thing's got really good defense. Or I might have the thing that hurts it. I mean, that might be it. All right. Otter screw to level 21. Steve is about to use Eevee. Yes, I'm actually going to go back to Butterfree and I'm going to heal up. Okay. What moves does he have? He only has one attack. So, okay. Alright, we should be good. Does help when he doesn't really attack. Okay. So from here, we once we beat him, there's a lot of things we can do. Um, I 
Ah, oh, we beat Steve. Hmm. <laughs> At least you're raising your Pokemon. Oddish is evolving. Hey! What do we got? Oddish is now a... A Gloom. Okay. I heard there was a Cut Master on board. But here he was just a seasick old man. But Cut was really useful. You should go see him smell you. Talk to him. Or are I feel hideous. Or seasick. Ash rub the captain's back. Rub 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 rub. Ooh, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know. You can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon, and you can see it cut anytime. So cut's very important. We can cut down bushes now. And trees. Um, also, you noticed it was an HM. Which means it can be taught to multiple... We'll see what you got. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of poison powder. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go and run away. So from here, we can do a lot of things. We can we we can do Diglett's cave. We can go back to the Vermilion. Uh, Vermilion City and go after the third gym uh, But we're gonna we're gonna actually go ahead and go through the Diglett's cave Once we get off this ship that is So before we go into the cave, so there is a glitch to get the ship back or get back on the ship, but we'll talk about that later. All right. Get out of my way. So we're going to do a couple things in here before we head off to the cave. First one, we're going to go ahead and do the healing. I really am thinking of getting rid of uh, Doug Trio. So I'm not going to really ever use them because of the way my fighting goes. But it, it is nice to have someone as a backup. So let me go ahead and start moving stuff. Okay, so let's deposit things we're not going to use. So first thing, we can go ahead and get rid of the SS ticket because we're not going to get back on the ship. So... Um, we don't need the Awakening, because that's for... Oh, I want to get rid of them all. Okay, we're not going to use the TMs. I may boot them up later, but right now I'm not going to. And we're going to go put this away because we, we had somebody learn it. Okay, so we're good. Now we're going to go ahead and head off to Diglett's Cave. 
Which would be fun, you know how this works. We've already got both of the Pokemon that we can pick up there, the uh, Diglett and the Dud Trio. I went the wrong way. I think we're at least in a position to fight them now. Alright, let me double check something real quick. Alright, so this is going to be a lot of cut fights because you've seen all of these fights. Be right back, checking something. Okay, sorry. Checking something up ahead. You trade something for Cool. So every fight down here has been a diglet. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. Pokemon's flash could light it up. Ah, clue, clue, click, click. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, so cut down the tree to the west. All right. Gloom hacked away with cut. Okay. Not sure if I went the right way. <sighs> okay, head to the northeast corner of the city through a gap in the ledge. Pewter City. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns experience. That's good to know. Um, is this Pewter City? Okay, head to the northeast corner of the city through a gap in the ledge. Assuming here, because slightly to the west, there's a tree we can cut. Okay. That is... Oh, oops. Okay. We are proud of two fossils of very rare prehistoric Pokemon. Oh, it might be you. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if Pokemon could be re resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me, so I have a favor to ask. Take this to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. Okay. So it's really weird um, that you're asking a kid to do this. Okay. Okay, so if you want to trade for Mr. Mime, um, red and blue version, you need a spare Abra, and yellow, you need a Clefairy. Um, then head back to Route 2, and you can actually trade it in. I think I'm going to do it just because I'm not using the Clefairy. I just got to find where it is. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and for the moment, we're going to... I could have sworn I've already done that, but whatever. 
Oh, that's going to make this a bigger pain in the butt. I'm sorry, guys. So we're going to get rid of Doug Trio for the moment. Then we got to go change box. And then we're going to withdraw a Clefairy. We're going to go ahead and leave. Do I have a cure for that? It's kind of a waste, but oh well. I should have just let it die. Head south in the entrance of Diglett's Cave. You enter the house here. Fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. That's good to know. I'm looking for a Clefairy. Want to trade one for Mr. Mime? Yes. Okay, connect the cable like so. Ashes Clippery Trainer sends Mr. Mime. Cool. Take good care of Mr. Mime. Yep, we made a trade. Hey, thanks. Okay, so before we go any further, so we've seen 58 Pokemon, we own 32, so we're doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to do one more thing, and then we're going to go ahead and cut this. Always practices its pant pantomime act. It makes enemies believe something exists that really doesn't. So he is a rated B. Um, he's a psychic type Pokemon. Um, really good in red, red, blue, and yellow. Uh, earns a 1.5 experience of a non-traded Pokemon. It has good special, but is somewhat frail and will require a few TMs as its level up mood pool is pretty weak. All right. So we're done here. Okay, talk, I think we're gonna talk to this person here. Hi, remember me, I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught 10 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an M. HMO5. So Ash, have you caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes. Great, you have caught 32 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. Ash got the HMO5. Um, the HM Flash lights even the darkest dungeons. Ah, somebody was talking about that. So that's really what its use is. Um, it's not for battling. It will decrease the enemy's accuracy. Uh, but, it, but itself, it's not very accurate. So, yeah. Let's see who can you learn it. Are you Mr. Mime? Okay, so at this point, I'm going to leave this one. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.